Hi there, Mobile Legends fans. Today we're counting down the top 5 fighters in Mobile Legends and believe me, these heroes are the absolute best ones to pick right now. Of course, I'll provide a build and emblems on each hero so you can play with a great setup. Let's dive right in. At the 5th spot we have Freya. She's a lot more popular lately because of her recent revamp. What sets Freya apart from other heroes is her high DPS. Her passive allows her to do two quick strikes after each skill she casts. That's really useful combined with her second skill because she can cast it very often to deal massive damage. But that's not all. Freya is also quite defensive. Her second skill adds a shield every time you cast it. Also her ultimate adds a big shield while it's active, which helps with her defense. Building some physical lifesteal is also really useful to gain lots of HP back when using basic attack. Freya is really strong against heroes with lower DPS and against heroes who are weak from close combat. Her high damage output and defensive abilities make her a real threat in a 1 vs 1 battle. In addition, her passive ability allows her to deal lots of damage to turrets as well, making her a great hero for pushing objectives. It's no wonder why Freya was in the list of 10 best heroes to destroy turrets. However, Freya does have a weakness, enemies with CC skills. If she gets stunned or silenced, she won't be able to use her abilities effectively. So players should be careful when engaging in battles with heroes who have CC skills. Freya can gank really well when she casted a few skills, so she has a lot of stack from her passive. Then just jump right in with skill 1 and erase the HP of your enemy with her basic attack. She's especially useful against heroes who have bad mobility and no CC skills, so you can unleash her full power. Pick her against heroes like Layla, Gord, Bane and Cecilian to gain a big advantage before the battle even starts. In conclusion, Freya is a great hero for players who love to do damage and stay alive in battles. Her high DPS, defensive abilities and ability to push objectives make her a valuable addition to any team. So if you're looking for a hero to main in Mobile Legends, give Freya a try. You won't be disappointed. The fourth hero on our list of best fighters is Bedang, the mighty fighter with devastating abilities. Bedang is one of the most powerful fighters in Mobile Legends, so let me explain why. What makes Bedang so powerful is his ability to jump to an enemy, stun them and deal massive damage. The cool thing is when you hit an enemy with skill 2, it creates a small wall around him, blocking them from an escape. Also his first skill is very powerful. It shoots a fist towards enemies, which explodes when hitting an object to deal additional damage. That's why you want to fight close to a wall to gain an advantage. Also his ultimate deals more damage when being casted against an obstacle. Just jump towards the target with skill 2 to lock him, cast skill 1 and finish with the ultimate or basic attack when it's on cooldown. Try to pick Bedang against a team with heroes who have low HP and defense and can't escape really well. This makes his combo way more deadly and increases the chance you win a match. Pick him against heroes like Gord, Leila, Veil and Argus. In conclusion, Bedang is a great hero for players who love to fight and deal damage. His ability to jump to an enemy, stun them and deal massive damage makes him a real threat in battles. In addition, his ability to knock back enemies, disrupt their movements make him a valuable addition to any team. So if you're looking for a new fight hero to play, give Bedang a try. You won't be disappointed. Before we move on to the next hero, I need to share with you some interesting opportunity. I recently get 165 diamonds with only 1 euro. I found this chance on Huawei App Gallery. As an official partner with Moonton, Huawei App Gallery offers great discounts. You can search for App Gallery or find the link in the description. Just need to download App Gallery and HMS Core. Open App Gallery, search for Mobile Legends, install the game. You must check the campaigns. You can claim a lot of coupons through these steps, such as 38% discounts. If you join the Discord, you will see an exclusive campaign. Claim that. Then you can buy 165 diamonds with only 1 euro. Amazing! App Gallery also provides 10% points back on weekends. You can use points to save money when you recharge. And the 38% off coupon is not only one time, you can claim it every week. Don't miss it. Check the links in the description to save your money. 
This is a wonderful opportunity to get the new hero Novoria with cheap diamonds, while also getting a 30% in-game discount from the 16th of May. On number 3 we have Martus with his insane attack speed. There are some things you really need to know about him to make sure to pay attention. What makes Martus currently so strong is a passive ability, which can add a lot of attack speed when you time his skills right. Every skill adds 30% attack speed, which goes up to 120% when having 4 stacks. This gives him a quite high DPS, allowing him to dish out massive damage to enemies. It's easy to get an enemy to low HP, which provides a chance to use his ultimate to finish off the target. This skill just deals a big amount of damage, and is even true damage when the target is less than 50% HP. However, you want to wait until you can kill your target with his ultimate since this allows you to cast the skill again, while also getting increased movement speed. In addition to his high damage output, Mortis also has great CC skills. His first skill centers all enemies in front of him, while his second skill can knock back the target twice. Then the second form of this skill can knock the target airborne. So Mortis has 4 CC possibilities with his skills, which is a lot. Mortis can be a wonderful pick against heroes who have lower DPS than he does. His high attack speed and damage output makes him a real threat to enemies who can't keep up with his pace. However, he does have a weakness against heroes with high mobility or burst damage, as they can quickly take him down if he's not careful. I suggest you pick him against heroes like Guinevere, Odette, Farsa and Mia. To sum it all up, Martis is a great hero for players who love to fight and deal damage. His high attack speed, DPS and CC skills make him a real threat in battles. In addition, his ability to quickly close the gap with enemies and deal damage make him a valuable addition to any team. So if you're looking for a fighter hero to main in Mobile Legends, give Martis a try. He's totally worth it right now. Only two more left, and the second best fighter hero is Minzitar, the ultimate blink counter hero. He's one of the most unique heroes in Mobile Legends, and I want to show you exactly why. What makes Minstar so unique is his ability to stop enemies from using blink skills, which can counter some heroes very well. His first skill stuns enemies at the end of his range and pulls all targets towards him. His second ability is the one that helps him to deal lots of damage. He first deals some damage in front of him and slows all enemies. Afterwards, Minstar can use his basic attack from a distance with some increased attack speed, while gaining damage reduction up to 50%. But it's his ultimate what really sets him apart. This ability creates a forbidden zone where enemies can't use any blink or mobility skills, rendering them vulnerable to attacks. This is a great ability to counter heroes who rely on blinking skills to escape or initiate fights, such as Fanny, Hayabusa or Lancelot. Minstar is a wonderful hero against all blinking enemies, making him a valuable addition to any team. He has quite a few combos, but I use the next one the most. Start with his first skill to drag enemies towards you and cast his ultimate if you caught a blinking hero. Then use skill 2 to slow the target while getting extra defense and being able to use basic attack from a distance. In conclusion, Minstar is a great hero for players who want to have a great hero to counter a team with blinking heroes and initiate team fights. His ability to stop enemies from using blink skills is incredibly useful in certain situations, making him a real asset in team fights, which increases the chance of winning significantly. In addition, his tankiness and area of effect damage output makes him a real threat in battles. If you're looking for a hero to counter the blinking heroes, Minstar is definitely the one to go for. But of course, we still have one hero left, so let's take a look. The very best fighter of this moment is Arlut, our newest fighter. This hero is definitely the best one of this moment, and there are a few things that makes him such a great hero. His abilities are actually quite easy. It starts with his passive, that adds a mark to enemies who are close to Arlet, or any units that receive CC. The downside of this effect is that you can't hide in a bush, because the enemy will still get a mark. His first skill deals some physical damage to enemies in front of him and stuns the ones at the end of his range. Stunning means CC, which adds a stack to the enemy. Then we have his second skill, which is the main source of damage. Casting it, let Arlet jump to an enemy to deal damage. 
But if the target has a mark, the skill deals twice the damage, refreshes its cooldown, and restores up to 12% HP. Together with the battle spell Petrify, you can cast this second skill four times in a really short period, dealing massive damage to the same target. Then his ultimate is quite easy. It just swipes all enemies to the right to deal physical damage and reveal their location. Well, it might take a bit of practice. Arlet is a wonderful hero who will deal massive damage. Especially the heroes who are weak from close combat and have bad mobility are the perfect targets for Arlet. Pick him against heroes like Veil, Joy, Cecilian and Gord. Arlet is just a great hero if he isn't banned. He deals a good amount of damage, is really mobile and because of his second skill can heal quite well too. It can take a bit of practice before you really master the timing of his skills, but this can be such a wonderful hero to master. So this were the 5 best fight heroes in Mobile Legends. Do you think there is one in this list? Please tell me which one you would add because I'm really curious. I always love to hear from this amazing community, so don't be shy. As always, thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you again in the next guide.